What's up guys, it's me Jeremy, and today I'll be going over a highly requested topic, which is how and when to back, and overall how to use backing to gain advantages. Let's get started. Now the first thing is that you have to understand what backing does for the state of the lane. It does two major things. The first is that it essentially resets the state of the lane to a certain extent. All of the pushing, harassing, warding, everything except for summoners that did not get you a direct gold lead that gained advantages here and there throughout the lane so far become completely nullified once you back because you get to heal up, restock on wards, things like that. Because of this, it's very common for fight lanes to get heavily poked down early, back, and then have an easy time fighting the opponents since all of the poke gets completely negated once you heal up. In addition, backing allows you to finally capitalize on your gold advantage. Your CS lead and any kills or assists finally come to fruition once you back. So if you were playing that harass heavy lane and get a CS advantage, backing is what allows you to cash in on all of those high pressure plays. Quite often we take huge risks when gaining a gold advantage by doing things such as pushing heavily, harassing often, looking for fights, things like that. You have to make use of those advantages by backing, or you will eventually get punished for them quite easily through a gank. And so you can use backing to convert your leads, and even if you're even in CS with your opponent, you can often create a huge advantage by actually backing at an optimal time. Whether you're ahead in gold or not, you can quite often get an item advantage by backing to control the power spikes in the lane. If your matchup has unidentical build paths, such as say in the bot lane you want to build a Triforce when your opponent wants an Infinity Edge, whether you're even or ahead in CS, you can back the instant you get 1300 gold or so, pick up your Sheen, a Potion, and a Ward, and then return to lane and you'll be at a huge advantage, as you leave your opponent with two, both difficult choices. They can back and won't be able to afford their BF sword, forcing them to not buy anything or to take a suboptimal build path by going pickaxe dorns or by getting the level 2 boots really early, which really just isn't very strong for the laning phase at all, which your Sheen will have a fairly easy time beating out in trades. Or they can choose to not back until they can afford their BF sword, in which case you'll make it back to the lane before they can even get their 1600 gold or so for their BF sword and a potion, and so you can proceed to push in heavily on them and have a huge item advantage since they didn't back at all. Or if they do back, you just get a free turret, all because you backed at an optimal time. By backing the instant you can pick up your power spike and say maybe a potion or a ward, you gain a really significant item advantage if your opponent cannot match that power spike. So if you have uneven build paths or are ahead in gold for whatever reason, be it CS, a kill, a tower, or anything, you can back the instant you can pick up your major purchase, and if your opponent cannot match it, you'll be left with a huge advantage. And the most optimal time to back is when you have a free back. A free back is a time when you can back and make it to the lane without the creep wave hitting the tower. You can back and make it to lane and you'll only end up missing like 2-3 to three creeps, sometimes potentially even 0 if the lane is slowly pushing in on you. And this is where I really want to stress the importance of buying fast. Honestly, buying fast is not really something I'm good at, just because when I play I kind of get lazy, but as long as you know ahead of time what you want to buy and actively think about buying fast, it's pretty easy to do. You want to leave the base with about 90-95% to 95 of your health and mana restored, since it will regen to full by the time you get to lane, and if you do everything as quickly as possible, it should only take roughly 30 seconds or so, give or take a few here and there, to get back to the lane, which is only enough time for one creep wave, and if you push the wave before you back, it won't be enough time for the opponent to push two waves in on you. If you push up to the opponent's tower, you have the chance for a free back and can easily make it back to the lane fast enough if you buy quickly. And so that's the time when you want to back. It's worth noting though that most players will at least try to back when their opponent does, regardless of whether or not it's a good idea for them. So you want to back in a way where your opponent won't be able to get as much out of it as you can, and so usually that just means pushing before you back. 
My name is Jeremy and that's it for my video on backing to gain advantages. If you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button so I can tell and be sure to check me out over on all the socials which you can see on your screen. And if you really enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe for some more awesome content in the future or check out some of my other videos on the screen as well. And above all else thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.